American Airlines is saying farewell to its final two MD-80 airplanes this week, donating them to Career Tech in Oklahoma City and Lewis University in Illinois. News on 6's Eric Payne was there as one of the planes took off for the last time and joins us live from Tulsa International Airport. Eric. Craig, this is really the end of an era for American Airlines after the plane served as the company's workhorse for decades. The MD-80 is wrapping up nearly 40 years of service for American Airlines. The last of the fleet was retired in September. It was affectionately called the Super 80 by its pilots and mechanics who say it was a reliable airplane. It uh, probably takes uh, a little bit more of the old flying skills. Captain David Clark has been a pilot with American for close to 30 years. Much of that time was spent flying the Super 80. He estimates he has about 9,000 hours of flight time with just this aircraft alone. Clark says it was an older technology, but that wasn't a bad thing. Some of us uh, enjoy that because there's a real uh, seat of the pants flying. You can feel the airplane. The MD-80s have been replaced by planes with more computerized controls and interiors. But Clark says it's a testament to the maintenance crews for keeping this fleet in working order. That includes Harley Thomas, who played a key role for more than 28 years. He's done just about everything on these planes. It's uh, been a fantastic airplane. He's out watching the final departures this week. And he was among more than a thousand employees who flew on its last commercial flight. That was uh, uh, something that uh, I'll always remember. It goes without saying, but it's a bittersweet moment for both Harley and Clark, who says the trips may be over, but the journey isn't done just yet. It's not come to an end because it is going to uh, uh, aviation mechanics school in Oklahoma. Uh, so certainly it still has purpose, which is great. And any time you're in Oklahoma, you'll be able to see an American MD-80 for many years to come. There will be special dedication ceremonies for the planes at both schools early next year. Live in Tulsa, Eric Payne, Oklahoma Zone, News on 6.